kind of ask Fred the same thing with the freshmen. Uh, how much is kind of the wow factor worn off of going into places like Rupp and Florida? And well, um, we know they're going to be a bigger fit. Like, their crowd's going to be huge, and they're going to have some good players. So we're going to have to come in and just play hard. Is it easier now, being sophomores, not to, to get caught up in the moment and get on the road in the SEC? Well, no, it's not easier, but we got like experience from last year. We won't have no season like we did last year, so we're going to come out and play hard. Rock, what's the major concern with Randall? Is it, is it his big body? Is it getting you in foul trouble? <coughs> is that uh, the major concern? Yeah, uh, we just got to contain him. That's all. But uh, we, we're not going to just, just worry about him. We're going to worry about everyone else instead of, like, what is it, I mean, just overall about what they do with their interior? I mean, you're not going to grow from now until Wednesday, so yeah, how do you um, handle their size? I mean, I think it's a mental thing, so uh, I'm, uh, most people probably think we're probably like scared or something, but we just going to go out there and do what we do, grind it out. With the lack of, of bodies in the post, obviously that's something y'all are used to, used to it last year. Is it something you don't worry about because if you do, it may affect your energy or you just go out there and, and play and not worry about getting in foul trouble? Uh, we just go out there and play. And, uh, we, we try not to foul, but, you know, it comes and comes. So, but we just go out there and play. And, uh, yeah, they got bigger bodies than us, but we're much quicker than they are, so we're going to try to use that as an advantage. Craig, you only got three shot attempts in the last ball game. Is that something that y'all worked in practice to try to get you more open and get you to slash the basket a little bit more? No, uh, it wasn't that. Um, took good minutes. I seen Gavin was um, having a good night, so we kept going to Gavin. He kept scoring, so I felt like, hey, um, Gavin's doing his thing, so they keep getting to him. How much do you think that helps other, other guys' confidence to know that a real quiz, like y'all can win without you just taking three shots. And that that, that um, moves everybody coming as long as you get everybody else into the game, then your game will come. So if I can keep feeding Gavin and when it's time to need, um, get the ball scored, I will. I think kicking your shooting is way up this year from last year. What do you see that's different from last year for you? Well, um, I have a lot of opportunities now because I got more people around me that can score. Last year, we had that last year, but a lot of people went really tough. But now everybody grows, so they know they had to step up and score now. What did you learn from last game uh, that maybe was something different, as you said, the team succeeding without you necessarily scoring? Well, um, going to the going to the SEC play, <coughs> keep playing that way, he can open up my game also. Real quick, Real quick, as you see him in practice, and obviously Travis Daniels just joined y'all, but – what have you seen from Travis and what have you seen from Falou? I know they're both redshirt this year, but Oh, uh, they I, I can tell they they're both hard workers. Uh they trying to earn them a spot on the on the team that where they're one else. So I feel like they doing doing a lot better in practice and they helping us out too with like being on scout team and everything. So I think they are uh, good contribute to the team. How much will it help to add them, obviously from a number standpoint next uh, year? I say it'll it'll be a much a much bigger difference. Mm -hmm. We just need a couple more bigger bodies in there. Like that's pretty much what we need. Chicken, just how does your game change going into SEC play? Because you know a lot of teams are maybe going to sink off you and, and make you hit jumpers and not try to let you get to the rim. Well, um, if they're going to do that, I've been working on my jump shot a lot. I'm going to hit the shot. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to feed the ball and get everybody into the game. I'm just going to open my game up. Rick talked about you incorporating a pull-up jumper. How have you done that? Well, um, I got the best screeners in probably in the nation, right? right <laughs> so my shot gonna be over all the time. He called screen. How comfortable you? Uh, what you get to work on to, I guess, perfect that aspect of the game? Rick said usually college basketball players kind of lost heart. Yeah. Um. Well, Coach Brooks, man, he, he kills me. Like after practice, he made me stay work on my pull up jump shot, and also like just my set shot. Um. Get really cold, Brooks, man. He just 